so I recorded a video yesterday about my tongue graft. Um, notice I'm still wearing the same shirt. Um, that uh, video um, was marking the uh, three-month anniversary of my surgery. Um, so was this because I had a second surgery the day after, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you can watch yesterday's video. I'm putting this up as a quick follow-up to say something strange is happening. Now, I showed you my tongue in yesterday's video, and it wasn't this white, uh, I don't think. And what I've discovered, uh, 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 is that, again, those white layers are loose. They're detaching from the skin below. Um, now, I'm going to go see Dr. Anderson tomorrow to try to figure out what's going on, see if he has any idea. But um, the first time this happened, it was easy to explain. I had eaten some very hot pizza, and didn't spit it out as quickly as I should have. I didn't spit it out at all. Something kind of embarrassing about spitting out food. We were at a restaurant. I didn't want to, right? Um, and, you know, my previous tongue, I mean, maybe I would have had a bit of a burn from doing that, but this new grafted material, these layers of skin, I'm assuming my tongue is like a spanakopita with layers of phyllo pastry stacked one on top of the other. Maybe not quite so much butter, but um, <laughs> <coughs> I'm assuming that these, the skin from my wrist, the layers have um, been um, were grafted, and somehow the top layers are dying and coming undone, <coughs> which can't be that good. Um, um, uh, it doesn't feel that good. Now, I don't think I had anything that hot. I did eat out last night. The food was hot, but it didn't feel like it was burning <coughs> the roof. <laughs> Excuse me, will I choke on my saliva? It didn't feel like it was burning the roof of my mouth. But, um, yeah, um, it, something seems to have gone wrong. So the first time I pulled the trunk off, I it, there was a clear explanation. This time, it seems more mysterious. This happened, this is the third time it's happened. <laughs> This happened a couple weeks ago as well, um, and I ended up just removing the stuff. I, I, I thought maybe it was part of the um, same um, burn from the pizza. Um, maybe it was material that was also damaged at the same time that just took longer to detach and whatnot, but eh, this doesn't seem right. So... Uh, I'm going to go try to see what's going on. Uh, why is my tongue dying from the outside um, layer after layer? Is this process going to continue? Is it normal? I mean, maybe it's normal. I haven't been told what to expect. Um, but uh, the absence of any mention of it makes me think that this is abnormal. I think if, uh, you know... Um, having gone to see Dr. Anderson once about the burnt area and the piece that came off, I think he would have said if it is normal for, for uh, more layers, subsequent layers to... Uh, uh. Anyhow, um, no really hot food for me, I guess, is one conclusion. I have to be even more careful. I thought I was being careful enough. Um... You think anything that would kill a layer of graft would be hot enough that I would feel it elsewhere, but maybe not, you know. I mean, I'm sure my wrists are not as um, 
I mean, the skin on my wrist is not exposed to um, um, hot food. You know, my tongue is. My tongue is normal. You know, my old tongue, it would be normal for me to put hot food on my old tongue, and it might not feel that hot because the tongue is used to it. But if I took that same hot food off my tongue and put it on my wrist, I might go, ow. So, um, I don't know, maybe, um, <laughs> so loose, you can feel it, like kind of rippling <laughs> when I suck in something. I feel my tongue over there. Uh, well, hopefully that stays attacked so I can show Jocks or Anderson if it becomes a big floppy thing, I'm going to remove it, but, ah, 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 same area, too, in the front, so, don't know what's going on, um, wonder if, um, like, I, I feel like there's a reduced clarity of my speech, um, um, compared to a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, you know, I, I, I noticed yesterday that I was particularly mussy mouth more so than the day before. At the time, I, I chalked it up to having not done a lot of practice or exercises, but, um, at this point, um, um, I'm wondering if maybe that mussy mouth illness was a sign that I was losing another layer. Um, um, worried by the process and worried that this is abnormal and that there may be a need for further surgery or that this is just the way, of, I mean, what do I want to know about facial cutaneous graft? Maybe this is just a different way for them to fail. The first graft just was dead in my mouth. There was no blood. This does apparently have blood. A, a pulse um, is very unusual for them to fail this late in the game, but but maybe it's failing a layer at a time or something for, for reasons unexplained. I'm hoping Dr. Anderson can shed some light on this tomorrow. So, a little update um, um, on that. Um, I'm going to take off this shirt, put it in the laundry, and go for my morning bath and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. <laughs>